Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. For today's video, we have two very special guests. We have Danielle from Anime. Hello. And Haley from Daijo Boo Boo. Hello. Uh, they also have collab videos up on their channels, so be sure to check them out once you're done watching this one. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing kind of like a, a tag style video. We've brainstormed a bunch of questions about our figure collections, each other's figure collections, and just like figure collecting in general. And we're going to be answering them and having a little chat. So there's a few questions in here that I'm hoping will spark a few unpopular opinions. So I guess, uh, Without further ado, let's just get right into the questions. Uh, we're gonna start off with a pretty simple question just to kind of get into the discussion. So, what was your first figure? So, Haley, do you wanna do you wanna answer yes. that one first? So, my very first figure is a Madoka Kaname Ban Presto SQ prize figure. And I loved her when I bought her. That was, I was so in love with the ruffles in the dress. Like they were all sculpted. And then I think it was from there that I was hooked on buying figures in general. Oh man. She's so cute. She, so she's a prize? Yeah, she's actually, I think she's like a deluxe prize figure, but she's still in my collection, but I've broken her leg off and <laughs> She's got like heaps of paint transfer, but I still have her somewhere in a wardrobe. Oh man. <laughs> when did you get her? Uh, like six years ago now. So she's a part of a set of all of the Madoka girls and I ended up collecting the rest of the set in like the next three years after I got her. That's oh my so god. Cute. Yeah, they're really nice prize <laughs> figures. I was like spoiled for like considering I was collecting prize figures then because they're one. I think they're some of the best. Honestly, like I recognize them, and when I first started collecting, I thought they were scale figures. So, okay, so my first figure I got literally from Japan. <laughs> um, I was completely hooked after. It's a Ren figure, and I was determined to get a Ren figure. It was, I don't even know what companies to choose from, to be honest. And I think I got her for something, maybe like forty, fifty dollars. It's not even like she was cheap. Um, and she's packed up now. I'm giving her away. <laughs> so that's a little bit sad for the memories, but I'm happy that my first figure was a Rin. <laughs> so a she's so cute. She's cute. I she's love her. Girl. <laughs> yeah, agreed. She's very cute. Uh, I guess my first figure was actually the uh, Shinra Kusakabe, like, Artifacts J figure. I feel like it's a pretty strong starting figure, in my yeah. opinion. He's still, like, one of my favorites in my whole collection. Like, I love him so much. Um, and the only reason I actually even bought him was I was going to buy the Chika Nendoroid. Oh because I love Chika, right? And I was like, I'm going to get the Chika Nendoroid. She's so cute. And then I looked on Crunchyroll, because I didn't like understand anything about buying figures at the time. So I looked on Crunchyroll, and she had been available like a couple days previous, but the pre-orders had closed on Crunchyroll in the, like the few days I thought about buying it. Oh. And I was like so mm -hmm. sad. I was like, oh, I can't believe I missed out on the Chica Nendoroid. And then this is honestly fitting of my collection now, because I always just end up like not buying other figures and then buying more expensive figures instead. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I was like, because I thought about buying like Chica for so long. So I was like, man, like $50 for this little toy. Like, I don't know if I can pay that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I saw they had like Shinra in stock on Crunchyroll. And I was like, 130 US dollars? You know what? Why not? Let's buy it <laughs> for a good. big toy this time. <laughs> so yeah, I went from being unsure about buying an Enderoid to buying a scale figure. And he... He started the whole collection. Uh, I got, I got uh, Tamaki like the same day. Later on in that day. So. <gasps> yeah. But like, how do you start off so strong? You can't I know. lower the quality of figures after that. Yeah. <laughs> Starting out with a scale as well. You know, and I was just scale? going in. 
premium. <laughs> right from the start, it was just perfect. <laughs> You set your wall up. Your wall up for failure. Yeah, I just set myself up for, for failure from the start. <laughs> All right. Our next question, this is a classic question, is what is your favorite figure in your collection? Danielle, yes. take it away. <laughs> I will take it away. So I, I actually couldn't pick between two of them. And I don't think you guys are going to be that surprised but it's a mix between my Butterfly Girl and my Stephanie Dola figure because I love them both very dearly. They, like, they both make me so happy to look at them and I just, I can't pick between the two. I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you didn't say Trick or Miku. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I thought you I were gonna say that. I love as well, but I don't know, like, I don't know what it was. I just, she was my favorite for so long. And then I got these two and that just completely switched. I was a bit it disappointed happens. in myself, I'll be honest. <laughs> I feel like this butterfly figure really came out of the blue and then just took like top prize in your collection. Yeah, I didn't even know she existed until I saw her in Ami Ami. Sometimes mm -hmm. that's how it goes. Yeah. And like, an o is she an OC, like an original yeah. as well? That's impressive. I know. So there's not even like an attachment to the character either. It's exactly. very <laughs> all figure, baby. Oh man, that's it's a testament to how well made she was. So I guess uh, I think I'm next for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so my favorite figure is let me. My favorite okay. figure is the if this Radio is a Ava Ray figure. Whoa. Yeah. I wasn't I expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. What, what were, were you expecting? expecting? I was expecting, like, Bunny Chica or even the book <laughs> Tone Android. I don't know. I was going to say Bunny you? Chica. <laughs> really? Yeah. I love Bunny Chica. You can, like, see her legs up there. I don't know if you can see them in the camera. <laughs> I love Bunny Chica. Don't get me wrong. She's very special to me. But there's just something about Ray. Like, the figure is just absolutely insane. Like, I just love her. It is a phenomenal figure. So much. She just looks so good. She's like, she just feels very premium, too. Like, everything mm -hmm. about her is just gorgeous. And, like, her outfit, everything. She's pretty simple, too. Like, I think before her, my favorite was uh, Judith behind me. Oh, like, the right. Maithos oh, one. Yeah. yeah. Just because, like, I think I her, like, dress that. and her pose and, like, her cat and the base. Like, everything about it was just so beautiful. But there's just something about the, the Ray figure that I just, I can't get over. I just love her so, so, so much. So, yeah. I She's a pretty, a pretty like, easy choice for me as favorite. It was like an underdog win for the, for it just... Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, there's something to be said about figures that are very simple but still very effective. Like they don't need very flashy poses yes. or effects or anything like that. They can just stand there and still look amazing. Mm hmm Yeah. So I, I love her so much. I, I just look at her on the shelf and I'm like, wow, she's just gorgeous. <laughs> this is why we figure collect. <laughs> exactly. The hunt was worth it. I finally have her and she's beautiful. So yeah, that, that is my favorite. What about you, Haley? Well, I'm gonna go the opposite, and uh, probably pretty obviously, my favorite is oh, wow. <laughs> something that's not <laughs> just the simple girl in streetwear outfit. Uh, it is the Jean Alter by Alter One Seventh. This is my holy grail for like the longest time, and I have her, and she's amazing. And I actually, I love the big ass flag in the back. And she looks very badass. She's a she, statement piece. Yeah, she's like stunning. Yeah, like you, you're gonna like see that immediately walking into a room. Mhm. Mm she's gonna get a a desktop shelf just for herself, I think, after I move. So. Ooh. Yeah. Does she fit in a detail, or is her flag too tall? Oh, I think she. I've seen her in there, but I can't remember if that's when people mod it. I think maybe she just fits. 
we'll see. We'll have Fingers to see. crossed. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we're just gonna oh. have to learn how to mod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to make the modifications for her. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah, her. She's stunning. Yeah, she's very like interesting to look at. Do you know what I mean? Like anywhere you look mm. on her, she's very interesting. Like her base, her clothing, her flag. It's all very well done. Yeah. That. It's got a it's like the golden ratio of movement in figures. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just like the way everything flows about it. Just so good. Yeah. There's not too much that is distracting, not too little that it's like boring. Yeah. She is just she is flawless. I love her so much. Yes. <laughs> She was worth the, the hefty shipping price, hey? Don't remind me. We don't talk it's about okay. that over here. It's okay. I overpaid for Ray, too. It's fine. It's fine. It's worth it to get the, the grails, you know? Mm. I don't think you can not overpay at this point. Everything feels like overpaying now. And I'm just like, mm, credit card. It just goes burr. <laughs> like, just print money, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the money to pay for shipping is equal to the money to pay for figures at this point. <laughs> the next question is, what is the worst deal you've ever gotten on a figure? This is kind of fitting as to what we were just talking about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, the worst deal I ever got on a figure by far is my, uh, my Chara Annie Holo Plentiful Apple version. Oh, yeah. I overpaid so much for that figure. Uh, and like, it was brand new too. It wasn't even like an aftermarket overpayment. It was just like, I don't know. She was one of my first few figures. So I'll give myself like a little bit of like mm. leeway there. Uh, I got her from Crunchyroll as well. And Crunchyroll prices are like, mm, I don't know. They're not great. Right. Um, and I think she was like 230 US dollars on there. And then as a Canadian, like I had to pay $20 US to ship it to me. And then she got hit by customs oh. and they tagged her as like a, an electronic or something. I don't know why, but like Crunchyroll didn't label the box properly. So they didn't know it was like a toy figurine, which we're not supposed to pay duty on. But then I paid 6.5% duty so i paid another like 60 dollars in duty for her i think she came out to like 350 canadian dollars by the oh, end of it no. oh no yeah my god what is she like actually worth around what makes it worse is like i kid you not two weeks maybe three weeks later she was on sale on good smile us for 140 us dollars and i was just like <laughs> i feel your pain oh, i'm so sorry <laughs> Ugh, and I've seen her pop up with like Ami Ami Prion since for like I think like twelve or thirteen thousand yen. Like I overpaid oh so horrifically for that figure. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. So that that's my that's my worst deal I've ever got. I love her, but she was not worth that. The painful memory associated with her. Yeah. That's just How about you, Haley? Oh sorry. Danielle. Oh, I was gonna say that hurts. That hurts to hear about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I feel that in here. I feel that. Oh man. Um, I actually really struggled for this answer because I've always, because I got into the hobby when I was in high school. Like, I did not have a lot of money to spend, so I always had to be very like frugal like i couldn't spend a lot so i had to like definitely make sure i wasn't overpaying for anything like i couldn't overpay because i don't have a lot of money basically yeah. <laughs> and then i learned all the tricks but my actual answer is this weird tamamo sega prize figure that i bought in japan and i paid four thousand yen for it from like a second hand store and she is not worth four thousand yen and she also sucks. Sorry to <laughs> anyone that likes this figure, but her arms, her like two big ass sleeves, they just fall off. They like, they're not hanging on by anything. Half the time they fall off. And I, I actually, heavy. yeah, her big sleeves are too heavy. She's probably worth like a thousand yen, but I'm 
mean, I'm kind of happy that my biggest accident to me is still fairly cheap. Nothing compared to your story, Gwen. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest. Was was not um, impressed with quality. Just from the the picture I'm seeing here. Yeah, not worth four thousand. Like. Mm hmm. I say after that, all of the figures that I buy, like I've always checked on like Mandarake for a price, so I'm never that overpaying for anything. Yeah, it's good that yeah that this was that this was the worst it got. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. jealous. I'm jealous. I'm like I could have bought another figure for the amount of money <laughs> I wasted. <laughs> like another like nice scale figure. What was I doing? Ugh. Whatever. Oh, it's man. fine. <laughs> You could have bought like six of these Tamamo prize figures. With <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's horrendous. Jeez. Uh, what about you, Danielle? Uh, well, I'm going to bring it. Up. Yeah, my my mistake is closer to your mistake one. <laughs> um, I overpaid for my Alter Asuka. I was a new to figure collecting in that it was literally, I was it was in my trip to Japan, and she was the first scale I ever bought. I had like no clue about figures at all, and I got her off of a store for eighteen thousand yen. Um, and luckily, because I am Canadian, I didn't have to pay taxes, so it went down to sixteen thousand yen. But the thing is. Um, yeah, she didn't come with a box, she didn't come with her second head, she didn't come with her second arm, her base is scratched up, and her arm is loose. And then I got back from Japan, and she was being re-released for 12,000 yen, so... Oh. <laughs> that hurt. Um, no. I, I love her, but I will always be better that I just... I did not know. That's and brutal. she's like worth crap mm -hmm. now. Because <laughs> oh, it, it's yeah. not just the price difference, it's the fact that you don't have the box, the different head and the arm, and you're probably not going to rebuy her because you already no. have one. Like, I've thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, then there was a time where I genuinely I was taking photos of her and the second arm and head would have looked so great with the photos, and it doesn't matter because I don't have them, so... <laughs> if it helps at all, you have the like hat arm in the pocket, right? Yeah. Mm. Th so those, in my opinion, are the best. Like, my Oscar's yeah. in that pose. So That's how I display it, too. Yeah. So at least at least you have the good ones, in my opinion. But still, that's yeah. brutal. Yeah. That is definitely brutal. <laughs> no, I love her. Like, I love her a lot. It's an amazing figure, but it's more amazing when you have all the pieces. <laughs> yeah. And to have her not be, like, damaged and in bad, <laughs> bad shape. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh man. Like at least I, I got known. a full figure. I got a full <laughs> figure. I overpaid dramatically, but at least it's like a figure. Oh. Oh man. The guy that sold it to me is like, oh, check it to make sure you like it. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. And he must have been like laughing at me. <laughs> Happy to get it off his hands. <laughs> okay. So the next question, almost kind of like, I feel like for me, at least it piggybacks off of the last question. Uh, but what is a figure that you received that didn't meet your expectations? So like maybe the prototype just, it didn't live up to the prototype or you were just hoping for more. Um, what, what was a figure for you guys that like just didn't live up to those expectations at all? Haley, you're up. I'll take this, yes. My figure is one that uh, I don't think I've showed in, a, in my channel yet. But it is this Ooh. original character by Magic Mold. This is AKA Retooing. Like, that's the prototype photo, which looks amazing. Uh, but she didn't come out that great. A lot of people had quality issues with her hair and that braid. And mine was not that bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't great. And she's a 20,000 yen figure, so like, pricey um not worth the price like but i did take a gamble like i've never 
heard of Magic Mold. I don't think they've done too much. So this is a kind of lesson learned that like I didn't really look into the reputation and I was expecting it to just look like the prototype and it didn't, but. Yeah, it, it's um, on the surface a really nice <laughs> figure. Mm. Oh man. What's the base look like? Dude, the base is the biggest load of crap. It's the <laughs> biggest, it's literally like a small pizza sized disc <laughs> that it's so massive. I hate the base so much, but the, to be fair, the base isn't in the prototype, but that also dumped my expectations. The base sucks. It's so big. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I mm -hmm. remember hearing about it when it came out. Mm. Were people complaining about it? Yeah, especially the braid. Yep. The yeah. braid is what people really didn't like. I think. Some of the pictures on my figure collection were like horrendous i don't know just i felt really bad for some people because if everyone got a bad figure then at least we all suffer together but if there's like some people get a really mm. bad one but other people get a decent looking one then it's just a gamble but i guess i came out kind of on top in their minds <laughs> fine but i yeah it's the principle of it right like quality <laughs> control come on yeah um, what about you danielle my most disappointing figure I got is this Idol Masters Cinderella Girls figure. And I love everything about her. I think they did an amazing job with her. Um, except for the face. The face does not look like the prototype. The face looks not good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like in real life, it, it, it looks very flat. I don't know how to explain it. Like. And not in like a figure flat way, in just like a flat way, and yeah. So I'm I'm keeping her out anyways because I genuinely like the figure outside mm. of that aspect. But for whatever reason, like this is usually I get a figure and I'm like, wow, it looks so much better than the prototype, so much better than the pictures. Mm -hmm. This was not the case. Where I got it, I was yeah. like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute though in the prototype. The Halloween details are so like the little ghost. I love it. Is a ghost holding her mic? <laughs> like, so, is it like flying? Like, no. Like her mic, it, it's literally attached. Oh, it's to, in her hand. She just has yeah. long sleeves. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was like a. The it ghost, was like flying up. The ghost on the right has a little mic, right? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's really cute. Bag. They like literally so hang, like you literally like hang them on and they're, it's attached to a actual like plastic wire type thing. So that's all loose too. Like they did such a great job with all of like the details. It's so nice. Um, it's just that one aspect. Shame. And honestly, faces can like completely make or break a figure too. Agreed, mm -hmm. yeah. One figure that I found like the opposite thing happened was that like the Mustang figure. I think you have it, Danielle. Yeah. His oh face in the God. prototype was wonky as hell. His face in the pictures I saw when people got it, amazing. He looks fantastic. It's a different figure. <laughs> like, I <laughs> I forgot. I opened him up. I was like, wow, he looks great. And then I looked at the pictures afterwards, and he it was a different figure. I forgot how horrible they looked. <laughs> you, you took the chats, and it paid off. That figure is so nice. I love him. He's one of my favorites. Yeah. So, so I mean, the flip can happen, but yeah, it sucks when the face isn't, isn't mm. quite up to par. Yeah, so this, like I said, piggybacks off the last question. My most disappointing figure is also Holo. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the Plentiful Apple Holo. Aww. Uh, mostly because I overpaid for her, but also because her face is off as well. Her mouth looks kind of bad in real life. And like, she has, like her hair, like the seams on her head. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of really nice things. Like the apples are painted really, really nicely. I think the details on her dress are beautiful. The scale is fantastic. Like she's really big and like very heavy and like her tail looks great. But Holo's face is meh. Like I literally saw people painting theirs. Oh, wow. Like, because to fix the face, like, because it was that bad. And, like, it doesn't look like the prototype face. The other thing that sucks is the base is horrible. It's so tippy and, like, it's huge. First of all, the base is, like, this big. 
Ugh. I don't really know why. I mean, I guess her tail's kind of big, so they wanted to, like, encompass the whole figure with base underneath it, but they really didn't need to. Um, it would have looked nice if it was smaller. Yeah, and, yeah. like... Ugh. Like, the base is huge. It's supposed to look like grass. So at least it's, like, not just plain. Uh, it's Chara Annie, I think, the figure. And I think it could be worse. The, the like, My Water Gun Date figure... Mm-hmm. If you guys have seen that one, I think that one's Chara Annie too. And the figure itself is beautiful, but the base is like shiny, just plastic, but like sand colored. Like they didn't even try and make it like sand texture or anything. Oh. Yeah. So at least they like textured, textured hold those like grass. But yeah. It's pretty rough. The, the base is like warped, so it doesn't sit flat. So she wobbles That's so much. That's the one job of the base is yeah. to be flat. <laughs> yeah. And she's on one foot already and she's really heavy. So she wobbles. Like, you can just, like, breathe on her and she wobbles. Like, it's brutal. Aww. So, yeah. Overpaid for her. Damn. Whoa, there's a car going by outside. <laughs> Overpaid for her and... Yeah, she was... She did not live up to the prototype. But I, I, do, I still love her. Aww. And she is a lot of people's grail, actually. Oh, really? Surprisingly, yeah. I gotta say, I like the other one better. The one that's getting re-released. Same. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. I agree. But now I'll just have them both. So it's fine. Holo Shrine. I'm not mad. Yeah. I have a Holo Shrine. It's okay. <laughs> oh, the worst thing in the world. <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay. Uh, Haley, I think you're the next one. Or oh. Yeah. I think yeah, it's the next yeah. question. All right. Next question is, what was the most overpriced figure that you bought anyway? Let's start with Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i was like oh what is it and then i i realized it's actually a really easy answer um gojo <laughs> the new gojo <laughs> oh yeah there was yeah. no hesitation i was not one of those people that was like oh but he's so expensive the moment he released i bought him <laughs> <laughs> i feel like there's like a gojo war going on right now too I'm oh, sorry, you but side. all 26,000 yen of the yen went into his sex appeal. <laughs> he looks fine, and I'm so he excited. Does. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. The sex appeal of this one is strong. Oh, man. Yeah. I-, I see why you like him. I think the Gojo War is split in two camps right now. We have the E Stream camp and we have the the F Next yeah, camp. Yeah, and it's yeah. so like fifty fifty. <laughs> yeah, I'm very much an F Next. <laughs> very yeah. much. I'm the I'm the E Stream, E Stream gang. Rise up! <laughs> I like the crazy oh face. God. It's grown on me. I I'm expect a war in the comments. <laughs> yes, please tell me you guys who's on the E Stream team and who's on the F Next team because. Who would have thought the Eastream one would be the affordable choice here? I That's all know. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's like seventy dollars less. <laughs> I'm just saying he's not affordable because he looks great. <laughs> I guess. Whatever. We'll have to agree to disagree here. <laughs> Haley, you need to you oh, need to no. choose a side. Yeah. You're not allowed to be neutral in this. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. staying on the fence. <laughs> as long as you're not as long as you're not the other F next one on that team. The one with the like no, 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 no one's on that team. I don't think anybody likes that figure. New mini game. <laughs> Get Haley to choose a side. <laughs> yeah, you must choose. <laughs> One day. Oh, Sorry, Danielle. I co-opted your your overpaying question to start oh, a no, war. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> I'll start a war on this any day. He looks great. <laughs> yeah. But, okay. This one's pretty easy. Uh, the most overpriced figure that I bought anyway, I've already talked about this on my channel, are my, I guess it's like two figures because they were the same price. Uh, my Chica and my Kaguya, Aniplex mm. Plus. Mm. They are very, very, very simple figures. And they were 190 US dollars each. They're cute though. They're, they look great. Like, <laughs> yeah. video tempted me to buy those. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm tempted to. And like their bases are bad. Like, well, they're not bad actually. They grew on me. They're like they're pearlescent. Like they're like pearly. Like they have glitter in mm-hmm. them. Mm. But they're just and they white. Have, like, a, yeah, they have like a beveled edge too. So they're not just like a disc. They have like a little beveled edge. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. a little bit more detail. Yeah, that's expensive, right? 
Yeah, but uh, let's be real, like, Aniplex, what are they on thinking they can charge 190 US dollars for these? Like, oh my god, especially when they're a set, so I had to get them both. <laughs> yeah. You just, just had to. <laughs> like, it, it sucked, but I'm a slave to Chica, that's why I paid it, and I don't regret it. I just, I just sucked it up, uh, but yeah, damn, like, I think in the end, I got free shipping from Tokyo Otaku Mode, though. Oh, so, wow. oh, what's so at then? least the shipping was free. Uh, in the end, even with free shipping, I paid, I think it was 480 Canadian dollars for the two of them. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it was brutal. It was really brutal. <laughs> That's harsh. Yeah. So, so At least yeah. they're, like, actually nice figures, though. Yeah, thank God they turned out nice. Because <laughs> that would have been tragic if they didn't, like... Uh, but yeah. And th- that's on top of the fact that I've already bought quite a few Chica figures. Like, I have them pre-ordered. Mm-hmm. And then I still went and bought this expensive <laughs> one, too. But You're picking them all. Exactly. Exactly. I'm a slave to my to my wife, Chica. What about you, Haley? You're right. My, my mine are two. And it's the... Uh, Mamako oh. and Chio Beastar bunnies because I think old bunnies are frankly overpriced for what they are but I still buy them but these two are overpriced within bunnies for what they are because these two are 30,000 yen each and like the Madoka dress was 28,000 and then like the zero two bunny is twenty four thousand. So if you compare this to like a normal bunny, like zero two, they're like six thousand yen more. And like Why? I don't think you're getting I don't I don't know, just cause they like, I don't know, I bought them anyway. Like I think <laughs> I think you could justify maybe the Chia one because she's got like an entire body length's worth of hair. But still, like they're very overpriced for bunny figures, which are already have watched, overpriced. <laughs> have you watched the series? The I've watched, like, you? two episodes of the the one that Mamako's from, uh-huh. but I like that artist Pochi that draws them a lot. Like, okay. I think her art is... it's top tier, so I, uh, I like to collect like all the the doujins from her art and things so when they were making the two bunny figures of her two most popular characters i was like oh my god ah!" and i just kind of didn't really look at the fucking price and i just went jesus hopefully that extra six thousand yes goes to pachi then (laughs) yeah yeah they are really nice though i can see why you why you want them like like i think think one's licensing's expensive too and that's why they Mm -hmm. end up overpriced that's got to be part of it like because that i don't understand why those are thirty thousand yen each Mm -hmm. i mean they're gorgeous don't get me wrong i don't think you're gonna regret having them like i was tempted to buy them (laughs) like but i don't i don't know what made them shoot up so much yeah Mm -hmm. it's like freeing's like wow it's not just a bunny suit there's I don't even know what you call that bit coming off the back. Coattails? So Coattail? Lo- yeah. Oh, there's coattails. So we'll charge <laughs> 6,000 yen more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All that extra material, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they tall? I think they're pretty tall, right? Uh, I'm not sure. They've got to be. I mean, I uh, hope so. The girl with the purple hair looks like she's going to be really, like, yeah, she's Big. gonna be giant. Like Skasaha? Skasaha? Skasaha. Skasaha. I'm not. Uh, is Ska- it Scottish? Skasaha. I don't know. But yeah, that one's pretty tall. Maybe they'll like look really nice with her and it'll be super yeah. cute. But it's a good choice. Also, again, with the <laughs> sets. Why do they do, yeah. do this to I us? Know. They like charge more for the sets. Because they know you have to buy both. <laughs> it's brutal. I. I commend anyone that has the self-control to not buy figure sets like the people that can just pick and choose like i cannot Mm. personally if it comes as a set i'm like well got a budget for the full set yeah (laughs) i'm warming up to the idea of splitting sets though i think i've had to do it 
it's the smart thing to do. Mm. Especially when you buy a lot of Nendoroids, and then, like, mm-hmm. they'll be, like, you, you can't buy all the Nendoroids in the series, otherwise you might get, like, six or seven, so you only buy the ones you really like. Yeah. It's just so hard. Yeah. It's so hard to say no. <laughs> Maybe that reflects more on me. Maybe I'm the only one that no, has No, I don't issue. think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why I didn't buy all the Nendoroids for the longest time, because I always felt like I had to get them all. <laughs> Cough, cough, high Q <laughs> It's a dangerous, like dangerous place to be. Okay, so for the next question, what is your most anticipated figure that's not out yet? So there's been no pre-order date yet announced. If that All makes right. sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. And mine is, I think, I think it's pretty obvious if anybody has interacted with me, like, on your Discord, Danielle. <laughs> Shout out to your Discord. It is. Uh, oh yeah. It is oh. the. Yeah. The um. What are they called? This is the, what I was thinking you would answer for that. The Chica and the Kamiya <laughs> yeah. Kimono figures by Wings Inc. Cute. Oh. They're taking their Good time choice. with this. I know. We're never gonna get them. We've had unpainted prototypes, I think, for like a year. I saw people on my figure collection the other day being like, happy one year, like, happy birthday. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, we're never going to get them. And I want them so bad. They look so good. Even the babies look kind of nice. Like, why? Apparently, apparently that brand usually makes one sixth scales too. Like, people are guessing they're going to be one sixth. So it makes me want them even more. Is the brand? I would pay anything. Is it wings or wing? It's wings for this one. Oh, it used to be plural. S- okay. So so ho- show so hoska or whatever it is. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen somewhere in post. Uh, the brand that it used to be, but they've been when they were announced. Wings Inc was under a different brand name, and it's been so long since they were announced that Wings has completely rebranded their entire company, <laughs> and these figures are still not out yet. Maybe they just lost oh the files God. in the rebrand. <laughs> we're just they never gonna get them yeah what if they like cancelled it what if it's they actually just decided yeah. not to go through with it that'd be so they sad they rebranded so they don't have to make them <laughs> yeah. they're just they running away from these off the <laughs> no like the expectations are too high <laughs> I've heard this company takes a really long time to put figures out okay so it that. could just be it could just be typical for them mm. but this just seems like too long especially because they're They've announced more prototypes and more figures. <laughs> Every time they announce one, I'm like, stop. Stop this announcing. Is offensive. It's time. <laughs> it's time for my figures, please. Like prioritize it, please. Is there a, um like a source art for what the kimonos are gonna look like? Oh, and that's so, so cute. Got that. I don't have it here. Ready. <sighs> well, they changed mm. Kaguya's pose too. In the source art, she's holding a cake, which I thought would have been way cuter. Oh, but I have to look at that. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, maybe they just realize they have to paint all these kimono designs, and they're like, um, "How do we do that?" <laughs> I don't know. Please, wings. Yeah. Please, like I would literally pay like three hundred dollars for each of these. Like I don't even care. They could put any price on it. Be like psh, instant pre-order. Like just give them to me. Like I will give you my money. I'm sure tons of people will give them their money. Like people want these figures so bad. I can't be alone in this. No, I mean so anyway. depending on how they come out painted, I might buy them. I'm not sure yet though. I yeah. Mean, maybe I'll never be sure because we'll never see them painted. We'll but. never see. Yeah, they'll never see the light of day. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> what about you? Oh, wait, who's next? Uh, Haley. Haley. I Haley. think it's me. So yes. I have also two figures, but by Wing, not by Wings. And it is these two original uh, oh. designs by Neko. Uh, and they're part of the uh, Fall Slander design set concept. I think they look mm-hmm. boss. I think they look so cool. I cannot wait to see them colored because the the first girl's got like pink hair and red accents. I think that just looks so sick. And then the other girl also has pink hair. Maybe they all have pink hair in this set, but I just, oh, it's gonna Maybe. look so cool. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I've been looking out for the first one as well. I haven't seen the second one yet, but I'm now going to be. Those are so yes. nice. <laughs> I love how in the second one, in the art, the dress is kind of transparent. So I wonder mm -hmm. if they're going to try and do that on the figure. That looks so cool. And really the first one, they, they just got the sculpt right. It looks correct. <laughs> yeah, and I really like too on the second one that she's got like white tights. Like, I don't yeah. know, it just makes it so much nicer. Do you um, think these ones will get made? Like when were these announced? Um, I think I saw these prototype pictures from the last Wonder Fest. Oh. Like, I think this yeah. was not that long ago. So I, I think if they brought them to Wonder Fest, <laughs> you know, if they make them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's not like these have been, you know, just marinating for f a few years. I think this is fairly recent that I saw the prototypes. Wing makes really nice figures too, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm really happy that they're taking up uh, this artist's design because they just have so many cool character designs. I know. <laughs> At first, I thought I was going to uh, go with the card captor Sakura because I'm not a company figure because I was like, oh yeah. Mm. And I was like, maybe? And then it came to me. My most anticipated figure is actually Shinji from Radio Eva. The second uh, announcement, the second oh. like I am so excited for this figure. I literally cannot wait. I'm actually we were talking about not buying the entire set. I'm only buying Shinji. Actually, maybe I'll buy Kawaru. I think is his name. But yeah. um, 100, I'm buying Shinji. I don't know. There's something so effortlessly <laughs> cool. I don't know about him. I love it. I, I'm. Yeah, he looks really good. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't gonna buy the full set and I was only gonna get Asuka and Mari because mm -hmm. I have like the the three from the first set like I have Kaworu and Shinji oh, pre-ordered yeah. but after getting Rei I was like no we're buying the whole next set like <laughs> I'm getting them all like they're Double just too set. good <laughs> yeah I mean why not I like how it looks like they're all walking together I know they just go together they're gonna look yeah. so good and the, it looks like there's like a breeze flowing through and mm -hmm. like all of them are catching it. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I'm obsessed. Very nice choice, Danielle. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> do you, oh, question though. Do you want the monochrome or the colored version? In colored, probably. But I have yeah. to see them both just in case. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the colored versions a lot. Like the monochrome is very cool and unique. But I love color. You know, color's just fun. Yeah. And there's something nice about the monochrome ones now that I have them. Like, I didn't. Because they. It's monochrome except for, like, the color red. Mm hmm. And then Ray's eyes are red, and Asuka's, like, she's got red details. Actually, they look kind of nice, but I might go with the colored one for round two. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we'll you're going see. round two. <laughs> well, I'm going to get the Asuka. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks like it's going to be incredible. Yeah. That one has the prototype out already. Yeah. And it's amazing. Her I hair catching the wind. like. <laughs> and I gotta say, too, like having uh, a bunch of colorful figures, it must be kind of cool. Like almost to have a spotlight on them because they're mm. like in contrast to the rest of them. That's what I was thinking yeah. about the monochrome. Yeah, I was taking but, a picture of them in front of my rainbow bookshelf. And it looks almost like I photoshopped them because they're black and white. Oh, oh that's so cool. Yeah. Yes. I love that. Okay. Maybe, you, maybe you've swayed me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll go monochrome for the second round. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so to continue on from the last question we have, what is your most anticipated pre-order? Uh, Haley, what, what I will take yours? this. I'll take this. I really struggled with this so i have a runner-up i know that might not be allowed but i'm gonna <laughs> doing it anyway it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> this was Disqualify. an unexpected runner-up but it is the yun yun uh Ooh. china dress by katakawa i don't know what it is about this figure my brain loves seeing it like the <laughs> everything about it is so good in it i don't i was so unexpected like i didn't expect 
to pick this as a runner up but when i was just like looking through the list i was like that is the one i want to manifest in front of me right now <laughs> well runner up right now because i picked another one <laughs> Do you have um, the Megumin order to go with her? Yeah, I do. Okay. But, like, I... Megumin is, like... It's just to do the set. Like, this is the the, the, the winner. I agree. The I 100% agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. My, she was my runner-up, too, actually. Oh! oh yes. <laughs> And then my actual answer is the mm, Maithos Hatsune Miku. I don't know the name of the version, but she's so beautiful. I cannot wait to see this in person. I'm so excited to see it in person that this had to be my number one. And it's soon, right? Like, I think it. Wait, did it get it delayed? Got, I think it, it got delayed, delayed. To October, September, October. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so, so giddy just nice. like talking like anyway yeah that was those are the two yeah those are two they both have a very similar vibe do you i don't like Whoa. there's something with the vibe that's kind of similar about them no actually yeah i think i agree you could put them on the I same know, shelf wholesome? together I feel yeah like. maybe maybe it's like kind of the the china dress vibe with the same -ish color palette there yeah very like wholesome i don't want to say it so excited now <laughs> yeah, I, I have to close my window there's some crows fighting outside <laughs> there we go don't worry about it <laughs> okay uh All right. next up is danielle what danielle. is your most anticipated pre-order my most anticipated pre-order is either i picked two. Oh, oh so i guess i bent the rules too so <laughs> Um, it's hard to choose. Obviously, we're all excited for these, right? Yeah. Um, my most anticipated pre-order is either Gojo, I'm so excited for that, mm. or my Elizabeth Bunny. I am Ooh. so excited for this. Um, I'm not even like that big of a fan of uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Like I've, mm -hmm. I've uh, read a chunk of the manga years ago. Years. Um, so like. I'm familiar with the story and stuff like that. Um, but this is just such a nice bunny. <laughs> like, I just think like, they did such a good job with it. And I, I don't know. I, it's funny, too, that uh, I really like her, despite the fact that she doesn't have real tights, which is usually the... Uh, yeah. What's the word? I forget the word. It's usually what gets people to buy bunnies, though. One's four scales. Oh. Yeah. The, like, almost like a gimmick that gets people to buy them. <laughs> Yeah, the allure. Yeah, the yeah, allure. <laughs> yeah. Super excited for this. I wasn't expecting that actually, but that that's cool. Oh really? What would, did you have like uh something you were expecting? Well, I would have thought the Lucy bunny before uh, this, maybe. I don't know. You have both you've both pre ordered though, right? Yeah. 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 I was no, she's up there. <laughs> I was thinking maybe X10 would be oh, yours. Oh, yeah. That's true. I don't know. Those ones are out there. I'm, like, I'm really excited for, like, all of my pre-orders, of course. Yeah. But I don't know what it is about these two that just... I'll, I'll use your words, Haley. If I could, like, manifest them in front of me, like, right now, I'd be really happy. Like, <laughs> I don't want to wait for them. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I guess... Mm -hmm. Yeah. For myself. Uh, so, at first I was immediately like, oh, it's the Kaguya bunny. Oh, yeah. To go with mm. my chica. Like, I was like, obviously that one. But then I actually, like, thought about it a bit. Oh, and also Union. I was also like, Union, I think, also yes. is like, I just love her so much. Everything about her. But then I was like, no. You know what it is? And I've talked about it in, like, I think probably it's my most talked about figure. Like, I've mentioned it in so many videos on my channel. Is uh, Lufia. Oh, the, um, yeah. The Max Factory Lufia. Oh. I, that's definitely my most anticipated. Yeah. I just, there, I like her. There is something about her that just, she's just gorgeous to me. Like, her hair, her face, her pose. She's, like, sexy. I love, like, her, like, um, 
kind of like thigh squish like she just is gorgeous <laughs> and like yeah Ugh, I just love everything about her. Like, I just look at her and I'm like, I can't wait. I cannot wait to have her in my mm-hmm. collection. I love everything about her. Uh, I really hope she turns out. And I think Max Factory usually kills it. So I just can't wait to see her in real life. Yeah, that blue hair, that blue purple gradient through. Oh, that's going to look so good. I just feel like the jacket so is going to come out like perfect. It just looks like it would it would look amazing. So yeah, I just cannot wait to have her in my collection. She's the one that I would like manifest in front of me right now if I could, because she is absolutely stunning. I love her so much. No, and we love like stylish, stylish characters. <laughs> mm-hmm. That streetwear baby, <laughs> give me more streetwear, please. Yes. It's just so good. Figure companies, people will pay for this. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Uh, Those are some Haley. good answers. Yes. Oh, let me get the question. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> We've got a controversial one. Time to fight. Oh, no. It is. <laughs> oh, Danielle's got a juicy answer for this already. Like, Okay, question is, what's a figure that everyone is excited about, but you don't like? Go on. Oh God. Spill the tea, Danielle. Oh, you guys are gonna kill me on this, especially you guys. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Okay. Let me guess. Oh. Is it is it wedding dress zero two? No. Oh, okay, okay. What is it? It's the tiger bunny. No. <gasps> no. What? <laughs> I can't say that I I don't. It's it's not that I necessarily dislike her it's that everyone's making such a big deal about her and to me she's just like any other bunny release (laughs) a little (laughs) a little (laughs) i mean like i don't know i don't maybe it's just like the fact that she's very uh young looking like turns me off but i like if n- no one else was making a, d- a big deal about her, I also just like would walk past like it was nothing. Whoa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I can't believe this. <laughs> I would have been more okay with zero two wedding dress. <laughs> like, like who? She Time came to throw out hands. of nowhere, y'all. She came out of nowhere. They were like, hey, you know this anime that came out like ten years ago? Here's a perfect bunny figure mm. of that character. Yeah. How could you? How could you not be hyped? That's pretty hype, I think, too, that it did come out of the blue. Yeah, but I was gonna make like ankle straps. I mean, I guess it's cute. (laughs) That's fair, though. I guess. I don't know. I guess. I'm hyped. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess it's just like I don't see the hype. Even though I actually, I do like Taiga as a character. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fair. That is very well, fair. <laughs> now, okay, does the, uh, this question, I wasn't sure, for this question, do we want to do like, because I picked one that's already out that everyone is excited about. I picked one that's already yeah. out, so I don't think okay. that matters, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm next, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mine, yeah. I've already talked about this in my Unpopular Opinions video, it's the, the crystal dress rem. Oh, I yeah. agree with you, actually. Uh, to be honest, though, it's like all the crystal dress ones, even the Amelia as well. I like the newer angry ones a little bit more, but it to me, it's a mass of plastic mm-hmm. with rem in the middle mm-hmm. that is selling for now like eight hundred to a thousand dollars. And mm-hmm. like, actually, yeah, and like, it's a nice figure, but like, the other thing that bugs me is like, people post it all the time on like Reddit and stuff. And it looks the same every time. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, cool. Another one. I guess because you can't you know? play around with the backgrounds or anything like that. You just kind of... It's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's very much you. a statement piece that just yeah. is the same. And it's just one color. A block of plastic. You know when you, like, take a glue gun and you go, like, and you make like that? <laughs> That's what the one side to me looks like. I don't know. I'm going to offend a lot of people here. I feel like I was nicer about it in my Unpopular Opinions video. <laughs> 
I don't know. And it came broken for so many people. They paid that much oh, money. Oh, yeah. And it came That's broken. Not the other thing that bugs me is the box is ugly. All of Eastream's boxes suck. Why don't they put, like, a picture on the box or anything? Yeah. It just... For... I don't know. Why did they do this? Why did they do this? I don't know. Yeah. And I mean, it did make like them a lot the of money. Figure. Yeah, people act like this is the best figure of all time, and I know so many people love it, and I understand. But to me, it just seems like everyone loves it, so excited about it all the time, and I, I don't see the I, appeal. I don't see the... I'm, I agree with you, actually. I'm not a fan. I imagine if you're a big fan of Rem, it would be, like, a nice statement piece, I guess. Mm. But... As a not, like, I even like Amelia, and I didn't, I didn't even consider getting the Amelia crystal dress, the first one, because mm-hmm. it just is all the same. It's just all the same. It's a lot. Yeah. You know that saying, it's like, before you step out of the door, you should take off one of your accessories because <laughs> you'll, like, look better. Like, I feel like they need that advice. I and maybe they just gotta mix up the they... colors. Like, yeah. Because like I said in my Unpopular Opinions video, the different colors in the Angry Rem one, like the Demon Rem, I think look way better and there's more contrast. And She's I also think- got a weapon too, so you've also got that extra yeah. like, layer Although, to it. Although, my other complaint is, they charge all this money and they make a second version and they use the exact same Rem and just change what's in her one hand. The sculpt ah. is exactly the same. I think it's like magic on the blue one. But she ju- they just used her hand and then closed her hand and, like, put a weapon in it. They didn't even change her sculpt whatsoever. For yeah. the demon rem. Or I'm like... Mm. IDK. I wonder if they can use similar molds. Oh, I bet you they can. Yeah. And people will buy both versions for sure. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I don't I've got know. beef I... with this one. <laughs> I got... I don't know. I, I don't disagree. I don't I don't care for the figure at all. Yeah. Good thing it's too expensive and I would never even consider it anyway. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't pay yeah. aftermarket value for this no. $800. Yeah. No. <laughs> Insane. What about you, Haley? <sighs> I'm coming in with another bunny figure. Uh, oh, okay. I don't I don't know if you guys will be offended by this. Probably not. It is the uh, C2 bunny figure, actually. Um, I just, I think she's dumb. I hate it. <laughs> I hate, I have so much issues with this. In the prototype image for her, they literally have to find some like random acrylic block to put her up. Like she's propped up because she's like lying on the floor looking like an idiot. Like I get it, she's got a big ass. Like that is, <laughs> Ev- like this, that's all the figure has been reduced to. If you look up any picture of this girl, this figure, it's just her butt. And I think, I just, I don't, I don't even see like C two as a character in it. It's just, it's a butt figure. Yeah, a good company will know how to make sex appeal and an entire figure, one whole thing. <laughs> Agreed. Yes. I just always hate this like lying down bunny pose, or just this lying down pose in general. I just I don't I think it's not even that sexy, and I don't understand. Maybe it's like because they try too hard to make it sexy. Because I always find when something's like, unless it's maybe like a sky tube figure, I don't know. True. Yeah. It's kind of like you know have to be like that yeah she's trying too hard she looks like she's dropped her keys and then she's getting up but ass first somehow <laughs> like it's the start of an adult video <laughs> <laughs> i i kind of disagree i kind of like this one Ooh, i like her i don't know if oh, i would no. pay the big bucks but i do like her i think she looks nice i i i agree with your criticisms though <laughs> but I, I see why she has appeal. I kind of like it. I feel like, though, like you said, the, and I think the reason that people, like, it's always just a picture of, like, her ass is because mm. this figure only looks good from one angle, and it's that, the above angle. That's it. Every yeah. other way you display this figure looks weird. 
And she's so yeah. huge that she takes up like a whole detolf shelf. So like you have to put her basically on the bottom shelf for it to even like work. Yeah, I I wouldn't buy her, but I 100% see the appeal of this figure. <laughs> My pet peeve, and this isn't just like this figure. My pet peeve are figures where they only look good from one very specific angle. Because mm -hmm. oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Like they should look good from all angles. Like they don't have to, mm -hmm. or at least two or three. Like yeah, I agree. agree. All right, guys. What is the most you're willing to pay for a figure? Market price and aftermarket. I'm interested to hear your guys' response on this one. <laughs> Personally, it really depends. Like, I would say if it's a figure that I really want of a character that I really like, uh, I have like a like tiers like they're like instant pre-order figures so I guess if I'm expecting a certain price and the figure hits that price I'll just instantly pre-order it regardless of the price so if it's like a bunny figure I know I'm gonna be paying between like 24,000 to 28,000 yen usually so like if I want a bunny figure I know okay if it's in that price range I'll, I'll order it uh, like scale figures I think I'll max out at about 20 uh, 300 Canadian dollars, I think, is where I kind of max out for, like, a non-one-fourth scale. That's okay. where I'm like, wow, that's really expensive. Like, I'm not buying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then aftermarket? Aftermarket depends for me, because some figures can skyrocket. To me, it's not so much what price I'm willing to pay. It's what is, like, the Ami Ami Mandarake price. I usually won't be willing to pay more than that, if that makes sense. Okay, so you're like on the low end of the aftermarket price then. Like yeah. you won't go for like anything on Solaris. You won't go mm. for anything. Yeah, that's that's how I usually go about it. What about you, Haley? I'd say I'm the same, especially for aftermarket. I think like I don't like the idea of paying anything really high. I think my cap on aftermarket would be like four to. Five. 500 is the most I could ever say I would pay for th something like there's a bunch of figures that I really want that are outside of that price range that I've just written off ever buying because I, I just oh. there's like a but there's like the Anaplex Madoka figures I was looking at but they're like I just I don't think I'll ever buy them uh, even for like a good deal it's still too much for me so I, I should just take them off my wish list at this point <laughs> no point um and I guess for market price, very similar t to Gwen, actually, on all of the things. But I think if I had to put, like, a hard value on what's the most I would ever pay, it would actually be, like, 500 Australian, which I think is very similar to ca Canadian. Like, yeah. I, I think anything above that, I would just automatically say no. But I could definitely justify my way up to that price, if you know what I mean, like... <laughs> You can convince yourself into it. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to. Like, I'd still try to set, you know, for a scale, it's this, it's this, but I I could talk myself up, I think. Oh, man. I guess I have paid $500 before for my Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah. But that's, that's like two, two figures. Yeah, that's so, two. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What about you, Danielle? Um... <laughs> So when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, uh, for market value, maybe I'll go up to 500, 40 to 50,000 yen. That seems like a lot, like I'm willing to pay a lot for a figure. Um, and then I like thought about it and essentially, <laughs> like I realized that I don't have a cap <laughs> because <laughs> literally I realized if they came out with another figure, like they did with that one four scale Rem that has the real like kimono, and it was a character mm -hmm. that I liked, I would buy it, and that was like two grand. Oh. And I and that made me realize I don't have a cap. If I want that figure, I'm going to pre-order that figure. Um. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and then when it comes to aftermarket, like, um, I don't know. I like. Around five hundred dollars, five hundred Canadian is where I start to get iffy. I think I might go up to six hundred, depending on how much I like the figure. 
Um, but I'm at this like price range. I think I'd have to be really desperate to get it, like my Chikur Miku. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm gonna be out. <laughs> The Yato Mega House figure is really testing that theory because <laughs> I used your last video to figure out what his previous um, <laughs> listings on Yahoo Japan auctions are, which are like where it's supposed to be cheaper, and they were literally at like fifty five thousand yen. Holy! Oh like my. they were fifty five to like sixty thousand yen for the previous listings. Uh, that's sold. Damn. I, so I might literally, if I ever want to get him, have. To yeah, that's to it. To draw that. <laughs> okay, so for the next question we have, what is your favorite figure manufacturer? So Haley, what is your favorite? Yes, so I I probably have two. Um, I think Good Smile is always one of my favorites because I just love collecting Nendoroids and I think Good Smile scales are always really good and I think the good small scales are also like really well priced still um, so I think good small is like a very common answer though and my second one is uh, my ethos because I think oh. they are smashing it out of the park with all of their figures and like the price of a my ethos figure I don't know how they do it it's always so good and it makes me want to buy so many of them because the quality that you're getting for the price. I think I wish I wish all figures were priced like my ethos figures. That's why I like yeah. them. If there was any other company making figures like that, the price would be like double. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about you, Danielle? Yeah. Um you'd think it would be alter, because I'm always like, ah, I'm yes. alter or whatever. <laughs> Um, and I do love Alter, but they don't make a lot of figures of characters that I like. Um, they tend to mm. stick a lot to, like, Fate and Idolmaster and stuff, and I'm just yeah. not interested in either of those series, so I can't really, like, say that I love them. And I realized, I think my favorite figure company is Kotobukiya, because nice. literally, yeah, they're, they're like, affordable. Yeah. They have so many, like, genuinely, like, nicely done figures. Um, mm. And they're affordable, of course. They have a lot of characters uh, for, like, everybody with a lot of... Um... Also, they focus a lot on, um, like, shonen-type series. And they make some really, like, figures in a style that I like. I'm not explaining it as well. But... <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, you know that, like, Bishoujo style? They don't usually extend that to Shonen-type series, but they do that with Kotobukiya, and I... It's, it's in the perfect style that I like, too. I don't know, I just think it's, like, an, it's a very solid mm. figure company. Yeah, they're good. I would good. recommend it to, like, especially, like, newer figure collectors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good choice. Uh, I actually... I agree. My favorite is also Kotobukiya. Uh, I think their prices are the best for the figures that you get. Their bases mm -hmm. are fantastic i love the yeah. bases on like every kotobukiya figure i own yeah they um, never skimp on the base yeah i also Jujutsu Kaisen. yeah those oh. are still cool in my opinion though i still like them and they all fit together i think oh, I just... yeah if I you think buy they all do. of them so like i kind of like those ones uh and they make male characters they which do, i really yeah. like yeah and some of my favorite figures like i don't think my ultimate favorites are ever them like they're just very reliable and they make yeah. really nice figures for really great prices to me mm -hmm. they're just an old reliable just like you know when you buy a kotobukiya figure you're just gonna get like a really nice one that you really like yeah um, i like that I they do a lot they... of oh you go i was gonna say i've never heard about like quality control issues with it mm, either yeah um i like that they do like they do a bunch of original stuff as well, like the horror by Shoujo stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, I like it when companies do that because it kind of feels like they, they're they a little more creative than just kind of cashing in on what's hot and then making an anime figure. Like, I feel like there's a bit of originality in trying to do original characters. I don't know. I think it's yeah. Like, they do they it good. because they want to make figures, not because they know there's a market in figures. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Kotobukiya has something for everyone, too. We've got, like, My Little Pony, we have Star Wars, we have, like, a lot of Western, then we have, like, the, 
the Japanese stuff. Mm-hmm. I just, mm. all in all, I think they just kill it. I yeah, will complain sure. though, and I know Good Smile does this too, but the like Kotobukiya exclusive stuff that you only get through their store, like I find that oh, really yeah. annoying because as an Australian, it is really difficult for me to buy that. Like, if you're gonna make stuff store exclusive, then have the store be accessible to everyone around the world somehow. Yeah. yeah but that's my only that's gripe with so them. fair. Yeah. Over here, we get we get pretty much like I can get the bonus stuff at multiple shops. Like you can buy from Coda US directly. Usually Crunchyroll or Funimation also get the bonus parts, so it's like easy over here to get them. Mm. But I can totally see why that would be like really annoying. Yeah, I had to buy from. I'd, I'd have to buy from a Japanese store. I think was the cheapest, easiest way for me to get it. Yeah, that sucks. And sometimes those bonus parts I think are necessary. That's that is one grip I have. Like my Tamaki. Yeah. She's kind of not that great without the Nekomata parts. And with them, she's yeah. amazing. It makes But they shouldn't have been the bonus part. Like, I wouldn't think she's worth buying if you don't have that bonus, to be honest. That, like... No. Mm-hmm. Agreed. So, yeah. I would I would agree with that. Uh, the other one that I think is a really great company that I have two figures from now, and they both, like, amazed me, is SkyTube. Oh, my yeah. God, yes. <laughs> SkyTube is amazing. Like, I can't get over how good their figures are. I have not seen a bad figure from SkyTube. They are always just incredible. They're I, so crisp. I don't yeah. know. Something about the sculpts. They're really crisp. The sculpts. And they're the like page one four jobs, scales everything. too, right? Uh, usually one oh, sorry, six. I went all one six. Oh my god. Yeah. One sixth. Although I did get Hurdle Girl. She's a one seventh, but she's a giant one seventh. She's a, effectively a one sixth. Oh. So, man. yeah. I, I I just cannot get over how good Sky Two figures are. They're all really interesting too. And I think that's because they're all, like, original characters, so they can really play around with uh, the designs that they get. Mm-hmm. And the clothing and choices and stuff like that. I think even if you don't like sexy figures, I think you can still appreciate how well done SkyTube figures are. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And sometimes you can get, like, even though they are, like, sexy, they have appeal outside of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. Um, all right, so the next question is, is there a figure you, <laughs> is there a figure you regret not purchasing or POing, pre-ordering? <laughs> so oh, I'm you're up. This one's gonna hurt, this question. I like saw this one and I was like, oh. Yeah, this, this threw my mistakes back in my face. <laughs> okay, um, I would say the number one one that I regret not purchasing or PLing is the Alter Shinobu oh. figure. Oh. Uh, I love this figure so, so much. And when I first started collecting, I remember seeing it and the pre-orders were open on Ami Ami. Oh no. And I didn't pre-order it because I was like, uh, I don't know. It's pretty, but... No. Mm. And as time has gone on, I've just fallen more and more and more in love with this Shinobu figure. And like, this was before I had any altar figures, so I didn't realize like how good altar figures are. Oh. And I was kind—I of, was wowed by the Aniplex one, where she's kind of like leaping backwards. Yeah, because there were a lot of uh, of Shinobu figures dropping uh, all at the same time, and everyone was yeah. kind of comparing them and maybe holding out for another ones. Yeah, so I was, like, wowed by that one, and I was, like, I like that one way more. Maybe I'll pre-order that one. But that one was way more expensive, and it turned out right. that, like, the, the Aniplex ones that had come out from the Demon Slayer line kind of ended up being mediocre. Oh. Um, they're not I didn't hear good. any news about them. Yeah, they're not that great, uh, and they're really, really expensive. And so once I had finally been, like, okay, I'm not going to get the Aniplex one, and I had got some Alter figures, I was, like, wow, I love Alter. I need that Shinobu. I go to pre-order it and it's closed. The pre-orders are Ugh. done. No. And they, I have been watching the pre-orders since maybe December of last year, January. I've had her like bookmarked on Ami Ami. I have seen her pop up twice, like reopen. <gasps> mm-hmm. yeah. I got the buy friend notification. I click it. I immediately go on. She's already gone. 
Like, people no. snap up her pre-orders immediately. Like, it is impossible to get her. And, like, I'm sure once she comes out, too, it's going to be impossible to find her. Like, I'm going to have to pay aftermarket prices, and I really don't want to pay aftermarket prices. So, anyway, she is my biggest regret. I should have pre-ordered her, and I don't know so if I'll ever So, she's still not her. out, right? Yeah, she's she not comes out, out in yet? September. Yeah, I thought she released. Oh. So, I'm still trying. Maybe one day. Yeah. Maybe, fingers crossed, some, like, in-stock listings at, at different places you can get her for retail. Yeah. The other thing is, is like, there are a few places that have her, but she's a little bit more expensive, and I'm not willing to pay more than the 16.5k mm. like, yen that she is mm-hmm. on AmiAmi. I don't really want to pay like $250 for her. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that is my biggest regret, and I may just never end up having her because of that. No, fingers crossed you get her. Maybe one day. Maybe the Kotobukiya one will come out really nice, and then I'll forget about the Alter one. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for that Kotobukiya one to, like... Is that one... Stick the landing. P- prototype? Like, what? where's that one at? Uh, it doesn't a even... silhouette. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. okay. I think at the last, like, Kotobukiya presentation, they put a thing, and it was the same announcement as normal, with her, like, silhouette of what the figure's gonna look like, and then it said, mm-hmm. vigorously under... Con- under construction or under development. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen somewhere. It was so funny. Like, I was like, just show us the prototype. Why does it have to be vigorously <laughs> under development? Like, anyway, so yeah. That's they're taking their time. Yeah. I feel like I wanted to pre order a Shinobi figure, but there were so many, and they all kind of look the same but different that I just never chose one, and now I still don't have one selected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The magic of Shinobu, like, I don't know, faded away as each one came out. I was like, ah, I'll wait for the next one. I'll yeah, wait for the purple next butterflies. One. Eventually be, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. What about you, Haley? Uh, okay, my answer for this, I'll do two because the first one's obvious, but it's the Jean Alter figure that is my favorite figure because I had the opportunity to pre order it and I didn't because I was like, God, $300 is an awful lot for a figure. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. And then a year, two, yeah, two years pass, and I'm like, I'm an idiot. Um, but I have bought her, so that's been redeemed. But my other few, there's a few figures that I regret all in this category, and it's a basically almost all of the Eurocamp scale figures. Uh-huh. I told myself, oh, I just, because there's like so many girls in Eurocamp. I was like, if I buy one scale, I'm going to want to buy five. So I don't want to do that. I'm just going to buy the the Nendoroids. I'm going to buy all of them in Nendoroids and I'm fine with that. And now I re- regret that decision <laughs> because I think their scales are so cute. And I want, I want all of them in like a campsite in scale form. And now they're kind of expensive and hard to get. <laughs> I thought I was being so, like, wise with myself back then, but... Yeah, yeah. They so now so they're cute. on the wish list. They're on the wish list, so I'm hunting for them. Ugh. Yeah, that, I mean, they that are sucks. adorable. They're so cute. Yeah. And they have so many cute, like, little uh, details to them. Like, doesn't their lamp light up? <laughs> yeah. All the, little, all the little camping gear things. They're just so cozy. I, I love it. Yeah, those yeah, are adorable. That's a sh- that's a sh- that's a shame. <laughs> Not to mm. feed into your regrets, but yeah, they're very cute. <laughs> you'll get them one day. You'll get them one day. Oh man! All right, um, Danielle. <laughs> My regret is all of the hiking androids. Oh. All of them, because literally, I was the same as you, Haley. I was like, I'm being so wise. I'm gonna not buy any of the Haikyuu androids because I know if I get one, I'm gonna want to get them all. So even though I see a Oikawa yeah. <laughs> on pre-order, even though I see, I think it was Tsukishima, Kudo, they were all getting re-released. I, even though I literally saw Hinata in his jersey version for like 3,000 yen Ami Ami pre-owned. Even though I saw all of that, I was like, no, I'm not going to get them. I'm going to be good about this. Rewatching Thank You, <laughs> three episodes in, decided to get them all. All of them are now off of pre-order, getting re-released. I had to pay like 
at least like 3,000 yen more for all of them. Just the, because I the didn't pre-order. cost of being wise, huh? The cost of being wise, <laughs> now I'm paying so much more to get them all. That it, It's... It upsets me. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I've nice. learned my lesson the hard way with these figures. Sometimes you just gotta buy it. <laughs> It's or you'll regret it later. <laughs> yeah. mm. Both mindsets are dangerous, right? If you pre-order, mm. but you might not want it, then probably shouldn't have pre-ordered it. But then if you don't, then you want it later, you're going to pay aftermarket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention, if you get all these things now with DHL, you might still be losing money, even if you're able to sell it after, because you have to take true. into consideration the extra money for shipping. Yeah. That's so true. <gasps> Ugh. Why? It's like a, it's like predicting what future me is gonna want is so hard. To yeah. Do. <laughs> because, ugh, I don't know. Like it, I feel like I'm really solid on future me just because of how much I've learned in the past year over like my own taste and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm really solid in it. But I don't know. Future me will know if I'm right about that. <laughs> <laughs> the problem for me is I often realize how stupid I was as soon as like the chance to get the figure is taken away. Mm-hmm. Like, like as soon as I realized that I'm stupid, it was because I checked Shinobu and those pre-orders were gone. And I was like, I'm an idiot. What did I do? Like, why didn't I just buy it? And it's the same as like, if I like wait on a figure I see pre-owned, I'm like, mm, that's kind of expensive. I'm not sure. And then as soon as it's gone from the pre-owned section, I'm like, I'm so stupid. I should have bought that. What am I thinking? Like, <laughs> it's always when it's too late that I realize like, oh, what was I thinking? Like, why? I should have got it. See, I have like a bit of an opposite issue where I do give in to like time constraints. If I see something yeah, pre-owned, I, start, I get very scared that someone's going to get it in the meantime. Then I usually end up buying it and then I see it for a better price like pretty soon after. And it's happened to me so many times. Like oh. I could have gotten that Oikawa Nendroid. I think I got it for like 7,000, 8,000 yen. And then I just learned a little bit about how to search for him better. And yeah. then I see him everywhere for like 4,000 yen. Or, you know, like, I, I wasn't sure oh. if I was going to get the Kudo Nendroid, so I paid 7,000, 8,000 yen, and then he uh, got restocked on uh, AmiAmi. And the same with Tsukishima, paid 7,000, 8,000 yen, he oh. got restocked on AmiAmi. And I see him all the time for, like, 5,000 yen. So, like, I yeah. have a complete opposite issue. Oh. I just jump in and buy it before. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. Like, I'm that bitch where if it says low stock, I'll buy it. If yeah. there's anything, it's like, oh, there's only three left. I'm like, oh my god, quick, look at the wallet. Like, we've got to check it. I'm so weak. I'm exactly the, like, target prey for that kind of, that kind of marketing. Oh, yeah. So I tend oh, to like pre-order more and then cancel than not pre-order, which is also dangerous. I think my problem is probably, like, less bad. Because I don't like impulse buy, but I, <laughs> contrary to you guys like. finding cheaper prices later, I always end up having to pay more in the long run when oh. I when I say no, when I'm like no, I'm not going to get it this time. I'll end up getting it again later for like way more money. Like they, the, it just keeps going up for me. That's how it's always been, and it just makes the regret that much worse. So I don't know. So you'll turn into us kind of soon. <laughs> just yeah, maybe. We'll anyway. see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Oh. Our next question is, uh, you have the power to steal a figure from the other two's collection. <laughs> what figure do you steal from the other two? <laughs> Danielle, <laughs> your answers, please. Okay. Um, so, I'll start with Haley. Um, because... This is actually a figure that you uh, opened in your last haul. As we're filming right now, it's your last haul anyways. Um, is the, your, it's your Rin Tosica Animax oh, figure. Oh, yeah. I'll put a, a picture She's in cute. Is she, is, yeah. is she on your, she's on your wish list, I think, right? Yeah, she is. I've actually been looking for her for a while, and she's one of those figures where I think I'd either have to see her for a really great price on Ami Ami, or I'd have to... Um, like see her face to face mm. but if i want any rin figure at this current point that's the one i yeah. want it to be like the racing one is also really nice 
I think, but I think as time has gone on, I've really just preferred this one, though I have to agree. I'm not a big fan of like her pose. I just feel like that's not really her. And I, that's yeah. why I haven't, that's why I'm not like in a rush to get her. But. Yeah, I feel like if there was a, th a new rinse scale that was announced that was better, you'd probably immediately get that one and drop. Yeah, but like I'm stealing from you right now, so she's free. So yeah, yeah I'll 100% <laughs> no, take her. Yeah. <laughs> and then for Gwen, um, we're like gonna screw you over here. <laughs> so I would 100% take, and because they're an androids, I'll, oh, I'm gonna say both of them. I would 100% take your Akashi <laughs> and Bokuto. <gasps> no, my baby! <gasps> because I'm collecting Heartless. human androids, but only at <laughs> reasonable prices. But if I steal them from you, these two androids, which are usually very expensive, I now got them for free. So, yeah. <laughs> Lock them away, Gwen. Oh, no! No. To never invite me over. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you said that. I'm, I'm surprised, but no, I understand. No, they're so cute. I understand. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'll lock them away. Oh, man. All right. How about did you? you get a... Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, did you get a few of the Haikyuu Nendoroids retail, Gwen? I got uh, Kuro and Oakawa retail. Yeah. Oh, it's only yeah. fair, right? Then you, you share the burden with... Someone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I had to pay oh, extra, so now I get to steal from you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, I went for a similar strat to Danielle. I oh. went for high high price items. I'm stealing here. Oh, wow. Okay. So, from wow. Danielle, this was so easy. I would take the Trick or Miku. Oh, no! <laughs> You're coming for Bokuto, I'm coming for Trick or Miku. Savage is like the, the most expensive one. <laughs> she is amazing and I, she's beautiful. So, sorry, lock her away. You need locks for your D12s. That one. Oh my god, yes. And I never then want to give her up. Haley, for you. <laughs> oh, I think you're going to be sad about this one. I would steal the. Uh, Caroline, oh. you're gonna change my answer. <laughs> Caroline, I would steal that my one. baby, no. Yeah, that one would be an easy steal. Dude, that's She's a incredible. Good steal. I respect that. So those oh, are my man. steals. Oh. I changed my answer, <laughs> Haley. I'm stealing that too. <laughs> <laughs> we can't both steal it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's. Yeah. Hmm. So thanks for the most expensive figures from your guys' collections. Uh, honestly, though, that wasn't like my strat going into it. I didn't like specifically oh, yeah. pick really expensive ones, but I was like, no, you know what? Those oh. ones, those are the my real shit. My favorite collection so nice. sort by price. You just went boom. I don't like this question anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Haley, who would you steal from? Or what would you steal from us? All right, Gwen, I was gonna say your Chica 17th Aniplex figure. Um, but I didn't want to steal a Chica figure off you. <laughs> You're so, so nice. nice. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I should just steal that now. But I was gonna steal your Skytube Chitose figure, actually, because mm, that is a very good one. She's a stunner. Mm. And it was after watching your video of her that I was like, oh, I actually really want that. So I think it's only fair. Like, it's kind of your fault for making me want to steal her. I understand. She's yeah. absolutely exquisite. <laughs> I understand what her to disgusted her. faceplate is. Oh, is that the one you have on? Of course. Yes. Her other one's like. <laughs> you on it? Like, why would I want no. that? I want her to look like I'm a piece of trash. Like, <laughs> bro. Yeah. No, that that is just. Oh man. Yeah. I understand. Mm-hmm. And Danielle, I also I was. I was gonna steal your Yuki fruits basket figure, but I thought that's kind of low fruit. Cause the only reason I'd steal that is cause you can buy it from the Funimation store right now, and he's, yeah. his ass is in stock. But I can't, cause they don't ship to here. So I actually think it's only like <laughs> it's only. I don't even think I'm being mean. It's just like I can't buy him. <laughs> It's the, it's the cheapest way for you to get them at this point. Yeah, party. you're just a proxy service. <laughs> but I would also steal your Sonico dress. Cause Ooh, the China that, dress? Yes, because oh, again... Oh, that's harsh. Your video 
is like finally I was like okay let's put it on the wish list let's do it <laughs> that's the Sonico figure I want the first Sonico scale I can see yeah. her in your background right now I've got my eyes on her steal her <laughs> I gotta say though like definitely watching your videos have me like putting things on the wish list I'm oh, like, oh, 100%. oh I do want that figure actually 100%. <laughs> Even, like, my boyfriend will be watching videos with him, and he'll be like, oh, Gwen, why, why didn't you get that one? Why didn't you get that one? And I'm like, because I'm not made of money, okay? I know like it's really bad influences on each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the, one, the most recent one was that Rin figure that, Danielle, you were talking about, that you had in your most recent video, Haley. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. We were both like, wow, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Like I always knew I wanted her, but I saw her in your video, and that just kind of she upped on my on my list yeah. of yeah. figures that I want. I was like, oh, She's do gorgeous. I? Yes, I do. Because you kind of like forget about the figures, and then when you see them again, mm-hmm. and then when you know someone who has it too, like the other day, I know you guys have these figures. I want to well, Danielle gets to look at that all day. I want it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was kind of surprised, Danielle. For some reason, I thought you would want to steal my Misato. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know. I'm on the hunt for Haikyuu androids. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. My Haikyuu androids are worth, I think, more than my Misato. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Brutal. Okay. So for the next question is, you have the power to will a re-release into existence. Which figure do you choose to get that re-release? And uh, wanna, you want to go, Gwen? This was, this was the hardest question for me. Because, A, a lot of the figures that I want actually got re-released. I've been pretty lucky. Like, Beer Holo, uh, I'm trying to think, like, the Gwendolyn uh, by Flair. I'm trying to think. There's been, like, a few that have gotten re-releases where I was, like, sick. Like, I'm so glad. Yeah, I know. (laughs) There have been a few that were, like, grails that got re-released, and I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. I would say, okay, I have two. I have one that I, like, uh is like my number one, which would be this one, the uh, the Katakawa Holo figure. Oh yeah. Mm. Because I think she's beautiful, but she she's not even that expensive on the aftermarket, but she's just kind of like a little bit overpriced, I think. And her mm. base is a little bit underwhelming, so I'd love to get her retail price. And I'm willing to pay aftermarket prices, but if she got re-released, that would just be mwah, amazing. Uh, the other one was the My Bunny figure. Oh yeah. I would really love because oh, I don't that one I don't really want to pay aftermarket. Yeah. But I want it with the tights, not bare legged. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll ever actually get that. But yeah, those are the two that if I could if I could will one into being, that mm-hmm. is what I would pick. Yeah, because the mice in my boat of like I want her, but I don't see myself ever paying her current price. So I just don't think I'll ever get her. So mm-hmm. that'd be so mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Anybody could get a re-release. It would probably be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. for sure. What about you, Haley? Um, so I tried to think of like a figure that I like. I didn't want to just pick something I really wanted because if I really wanted, I'd probably pay the aftermarket price. So it's that kind of middle ground where I want it, but definitely not for the aftermarket price. So I just won't get it unless it gets a re-release. And same. Oh, yeah. Okay the immediate thing oh i guess the one i chose is the artifacts jabami by kotobukiya because <laughs> she retailed for like twelve thousand yen and i think now she's i don't know 30 maybe 20 20 something but i just i don't think i'll ever buy her unless she gets a re-release it's, yeah yeah whereas uh, the the I, I didn't think of anybody i was trying to think of any nendoroids i want because that's the other big thing where it's like I don't want to pay $200 for an Android. It's never worth it. So unless you get a re-release, bleh. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, true. Th- that's whom I went with. I mean, it's a solid figure. Like, I might pre-order her if she got re-released. She's kind of bookia, though. And they, yeah. they re-release things, so there's actually a chance. Hey, maybe. That'd be awesome. If we could get big enough that we could influence the figure market, that'd be great. <laughs> Go <Kotobuki laughs> bookie after out there. <laughs> Yeah, everyone subscribe to all of our channels so that we can influence the market. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're doing this for your benefit. Yeah. So I would good. definitely buy 
I would definitely PO the Yumeko if they oh, released obviously. her. One hundred percent. Oh man. All right, Danielle. Um, I thought this would be a hard question, and then it wasn't like at all. One hundred percent. It's kind of a cheating. If they could re-release the uh, Hana Iro Goromo line, that would be great because I'm missing the last three. I have three of them now. And I just need three more, and each of those aftermarkets are like ranging like four hundred to six hundred dollars. Oh so if they could like gosh. re-release that for me, that would be great. <laughs> so, oh wow, I didn't realize they were that expensive because the Miku is like readily available. Yeah, I guess they just made like way more of her than anyone else. Yeah, you can get Miku, uh, Kaito, and her name's not Megurin. I don't know her name, but the the one in the orange. Yeah. Um, that's why I, that's why I didn't say any of their names because I don't know all their names. Um, but Rin and pink haired girl and Rin's brother, Len. Yeah, yeah. those Len. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all they're all really expensive to get right now. Um, so I'm taking my time getting them, and I don't know, I'll probably pay a solid chunk for them at some point, but if I could get them re-released, I would just get all three of them right away. If I was yeah. figure collecting at the time these were released, I would probably have just ordered the entire set. Mm. They're beautiful. They're so When did stunning. they come out? Are they old or kind of new? 2017? 2018? Mm-hmm. Something like that? Yeah. I mean, for older figures, they're actually, like, really nice. I mean, you mm-hmm. guys know you both have one. Yeah, I got the Rin. Mm. I love her so much. She's beautiful. So. Yeah. All right, so for the last set of questions, we just have a few, like, rapid-fire questions that kind of have, like, shorter answers, I think. Uh, I don't know. They yeah. might end up being chatty as well. <laughs> but uh, the first of the rapid-fire questions here is, if you could get a new scale of a character, what scale figure would you want? So Haley, what would you like? I want a Riza Hawkeye scale. Or Rin Torso. I got those were my two. I want oh, new perfect. nice scales of those. <laughs> yeah, my mine is Rin. I want oh, a nice. Rin scale. <laughs> yeah. Good taste. <laughs> There's not enough Rins out there. Like Rin figures are so neglected. With the amount of fate figures they release too, it's absurd. Yeah. And she's such a popular character too. Like why? I don't know. It Shame. sucks. Quinn? Uh, I think I have to give the basic answer here. I don't think I've talked about her enough, but Chica. Give me some more Chicas. I don't care what outfit she's wearing. <laughs> Let's get like a, I don't know, like a fun Chica. I don't know. I don't even know because there's like school uniform, there's beach. We got Bunny. We need Kimono, Kimono's obviously. On the way. Yeah. Kimono will hopefully be on the way, but I would honestly be game for any new Chica figure. Or uh, like an Ishigami to go with her maybe because mm. i think ishigami also needs a scale so yeah. yeah i would say chica i feel like i have to even though she gets <laughs> figures she could just she could always use more we need a good smile chica i think oh mm. yeah next which character would you choose to get a nendoroid of danielle this was hard for me because i don't uh, really collect nendoroids i'm like yeah there's like you but those are very much exceptions for me <laughs> at the moment mm. so i just said either toru because she's not released like mm. they haven't said anything about that or one of the haiku girls one of the two managers yeah Ooh, i would love that nice. like that or like the haiku teacher or the uh <gasps> or the coaches or anything like that any any of the haiku any of the ones that aren't already made essentially <laughs> Mine, uh, my Danielle, you're gonna agree with as soon as I say it. You're gonna be like, wow, why didn't I think of that? A Tendo Nendoroid from Haikyuu. Like from Shiro Torizawa? Wait, there isn't one. Who's Tendo again? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like the red spiky hair. He's uh, like the, the oh weird one. Oh my god, yes. There isn't a Nendoroid of him. He would be so, he would have such cute face plates. I know. Like, I don't understand how they didn't, <laughs> how they don't have one of him yet. It is absurd. And they even made one of um, Ushiwaka. Yeah. And like every other captain has at least one other teammate to go with them in the Nendoroid lineup for Haikyuu, except for Shiro Toizawa. So oh my yeah, God. I would say Tendo. Tendo for sure. <laughs> what about you, Haley? I would say, I um, still can't believe these don't exist, but I would say it's 
uh, Toru and Kana from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid because they are the oh. cutest character designs ever and they're so suited for Nendoroids. Like I Oh, but with season two maybe we'll get one. Ooh, maybe yeah. it's in the works. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. it's in the works. Like that that would sell Sometimes so well. I feel like they get caught caught in like Fox prison. Some Yes. <laughs> some like What is up with that? Yeah. But is that exclusive they licensing? The, yeah, since they made the the, the Kana uh, F next figure, maybe the like license has gotten out there, and other maybe, companies yeah. are gonna grab Sneaked it. Sneaked out, yeah. Be better. Okay, so for the next one, uh, which character would you choose to get a new B style bunny figure of a one foot scale? Uh, mine is immediate. I knew this one ex like as soon as I read this. Uh, I would love a holo, one fourth scale. Oh. oh. So I'd hope they would do it like Raptalia. Raptalia? I don't know how to say your name. Yeah. Where she doesn't yeah. have bunny ears, she just has her animal ears. Uh, I'd love yeah. for them to do the same thing, but with Holo. And I don't know, like oh. maybe a red, like an apple red bunny suit for her. Or I think like a green or like a like a wheat colored bunny suit would be really, really pretty oh. as well. So yeah, I would yeah. love, love, love a bunny Holo. I think they could like play with, around with that, make it like very like nature-y. You know, she'd, she'd have so a big cute. tail as well. Yeah, she'd be beautiful. Oh. So yeah, that would be mine. That's a good one. Okay. I was right. gonna have to say, um, they, have, they haven't made many fate bunnies, but I would like to see them make uh, Artoria Rula, who is already a bunny, and she's like a, a casino oh. bunny. I just think that would look so good. I'm really surprised they just haven't made this, because it would sell it's like mm -hmm. perfect yeah there's like scales of her coming out though so maybe they're like they don't want to make too many but i think she's cute <laughs> that'd be beautiful i love the blue tights yeah that would have been, that'd be so Stunning. interesting oh man. very good choice um well now that you mentioned fate but we already said Bryn. i mean technically i would love to have like a Bryn bunny um but mm. the one i originally put down was nobara because Whoa. I just feel like her, with like a very like confident like face or pose or whatever, would just be so nice. I can imagine her with like her hands on her hips, like yes. yeah, like She'd be so good. Oh, I just think she would make such a nice bunny, and it would. I feel like she would have like such a unique vibe to her. So a hundred percent, like yeah, like of. a badass bunny instead. There's a few yeah. of those out there, right? Which yeah, like her nails. Like I don't know. I feel like she needs like her hammer and nails too. <gasps> yes. It'd be so oh sick. my god. <laughs> I would love that. That's a good choice. Okay. And, and the then... final one. An all decked out, like, e-stream or statue of a figure. What would you, what would you like? Alright. I will say, I've been on a Chainsaw Man kick recently. I've just... Um, so I would love a power... E stream figure where for once all that acrylic like swirly stuff would actually be like it'd be blood which would actually fit that character it would be so cool that's um. what i want i would actually buy that that's an eastern figure i would buy that's stunning that'd be so sick yeah um i honestly i put down question marks for this because i couldn't choose um i i was like oh maybe something from jujutsu kaisen maybe something from demon slayer um but none of that compares to power so i'm just gonna have to hop on <laughs> oh, <laughs> like let's make it I happen a hundred percent think that would be amazing so that's my i have no idea who that even is and from the one picture that Haley sent damn yeah i buy that too i buy that yes shit. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Let's go email uh, eStream right now with our business pitch. Yeah. I would say, yeah, so I love that. My idea was, uh, again, hopping on the Holo bandwagon. I feel like I've talked about Holo so much in this video, <laughs> but I would absolutely kill for a Holo and Lawrence figure Ooh. where they're like standing in like a wheat field. That would be amazing. That That's my be. dream. The, that's severely lacking in the figure. Yeah. The Are figure there any sphere. Lawrence figures? No, not a no. single one. Oh man. So yeah, that would be that's my dream. Sad. Or a samurai champlu one, either of the whole game yeah. or just Fu. I would. They kill. would do an amazing job. Yeah. I don't think we'll oh. ever get that though. We're all like <laughs> longing now. 
we're like sad like these are never gonna happen but imagine like they'd be it's, so good yeah it's kind of exciting though because it is such a new uh series that you really don't know what they are gonna focus on when it comes to making their new figure so there is like i don't know I don't know. There's a chance that they will, like, uh, kind of take any of these series, I think, maybe. They also might be, like, Rem. Yeah. Like, another know. Rem. <laughs> Fire dress version or something. Like, Ooh. something. I don't know. They might be mm. um, cash grabs. If they're, if they're only going to focus on Rem, it's like an automatic cash grab. Mm. Oh, I forgot to mention. One that I actually think is actually possible is I would love a Yuji to go with Gojo by Eastream. Ooh. And Yuji in his manga art style hey. with that on his hand, with us yeah. in his mouth, Yay. I would kill for that. And I feel like that's actually possible because they did Gojo as yeah. the cover of the manga. No, so. yeah, I, that'd be so cool. Or if they did, um, the fact that I just um, blanked on his name, the guy in Yuji. <laughs> oh, uh, Megumi. <laughs> Megumi? Sukuna? No? Sakuna. Oh, like did them both on one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, no, but like, could you imagine? Okay, what? they tried to do a Sakuna uh, scale. They tried to do him on his chair. Yeah. And yeah, it, that, his face is so off. It, it's so bad. Um, sorry to anyone who pre ordered that. I, um, I agree. <laughs> so if they like could do a Sakuna, but like did him justice, like a really nice, oh my god, I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I agree. Agreed. Damn, oh all these amazing God. ideas. These figure companies need to watch this video. Yeah. Take notes. Yeah. Take notes. We want royalties. <laughs> yeah. we I, don't imagine ideas, they'll, I don't imagine they'll listen to me after I was like, I hate crystal dress. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they clicked sure off the video. Blacklisted. They're gone. Like, I'm blacklisted forever. You're never getting sponsored, Gwen. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, well. It's okay. Oh. I'm not selling out. I'm not selling out. I'll sell out. Guys, I Unless, love your figures. <laughs> yeah, if you want to send me a figure, send it my way. I love Crystal Dress. Yeah. Crystal Dress Send Ram. me the Gojo. Yeah. yeah. Or the Mai. I want the Mai. She's stunning. But, uh, alas, we may never get her. Aww. She's just too expensive. Isn't she like 30,000 yen or something like that? She's like 35,000. And then shipping's going to be expensive. I really yeah. wanted the Ram too, mm -hmm. and then they the, the like streetwear one, and then mm -hmm. they threw the forty two thousand yen price tag on it, and I was like, well, yeah, uh, no, guess I can't afford it. No. <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah. All right, so that is all of the questions then, I guess. Nice work, you guys. All right, so that's it for our like kind of Q and A tag video, just a chill kind of chatty video, a little bit different from the like more more gamey videos that we had on Danielle and Haley's channels. But I would like to thank you all for watching this long video, and please go subscribe to Haley and Danielle's channels because uh, they just they're the goats. Like they're so good, <laughs> and they are the Aww. sole reason why I even like thought about making a channel so thank you guys i'm glad that we're like friends now <laughs> i know oh my god so, <laughs> sorry. so yeah uh thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you all have a very wonderful day and uh we'll see you next time bye bye, bye. <laughs>